the break. Ball puts it up. It's gone. It's gone. And the Knicks lose in heartbreaking fashion. Welcome back, you guys. And I would not blame you if you stopped paying attention to the Knicks after Kristaps Porzingis was ruled out for the season. The Knicks have struggled since their 10-7 start to the year, but in the past two months, Trey Burke, the ninth pick of the 2013 NBA Draft, has been a bright spot for the team. For someone drafted in the lottery, Trey has moved around the league a lot since 2013 and found himself on the Westchester Knicks before the start of this year's season. Trey had to prove himself again in the G League and now he's providing energy off of a Knicks bench that needs scoring. Trey has made this Knicks season a little bit more enjoyable, and if you want to see him or any other NBA team play before the regular season ends, then I would recommend downloading the SeatGeek app. SeatGeek has helped me out in the past, I've used them to buy NBA tickets before, and it's not just for basketball either, they also have tickets for concerts and other sporting events that you can browse. What SeatGeek does is it puts tickets together from all over the web into one spot, then they give those tickets a rating out of 100, so if it's green then you know it's a good deal, if it's red then you know it's not a good deal. They also let you know what your seats look like before you purchase them, that's definitely a cool feature. If this is something you'd be interested in, the link to the SeatGeek app will be in the description, and to get $20 off your first purchase, you can use my code KANE at checkout. Now let's talk about how Trey found himself in the G League and how he's worked his way back to an NBA roster. Trey Burke is a 6 foot 1 point guard that had 3 point shooting and passing ability that many scouts thought would easily translate to the NBA. Trey's sophomore college season at Michigan was so accomplished that some analysts thought he could sneak in as the number one pick. That was far-fetched, but Trey had an amazing year. He won AP Player of the Year and got Michigan to the championship game. He did not go number one in the NBA draft, though. Trey was picked ninth in the 2013 draft by the Timberwolves before being traded to the Jazz for the 14th and 21st pick, which ended up being Gorgie Dang and Shabazz Muhammad. In his first year with the Jazz, Trey had a pretty decent year and finished third in Rookie of the Year voting. But Trey Burke felt his relationship with the Jazz was damaged when they took Dante Exum with the fifth pick of the 2014 draft. That really bothered Burke and he felt that the franchise was not committing to him. He was putting up decent numbers but his shooting percentages and on-ball defense weren't great and he regressed in his second season and fell out of the Jazz starting lineup. Trey finished his second season as the first player since the 1965 year to shoot over 1,000 shots at under 37%. Trey Burke's time in Utah was not working out and he did not start in any games during the 2015-2016 season. He was never the shooter or passer that the Jazz were hoping for when they traded for him. He was kind of small for a point guard and his inconsistent play forced him to see a bench role. In the summer of 2016, they traded him to the Wizards for a 2021 draft pick his time in Utah was over. In an interview before the start of the 2016-2017 year, Trey Burke told the media that the Jazz were holding him back and he felt they tried to break him. Trey was going to be backing up John Wall in the Wizards bench unit and he was hoping to prove the Jazz wrong for giving up on him. But the Jazz started to look correct in their evaluation once Trey Burke's role on the Wizards diminished after poor play. Plus when Brandon Jennings signed, Trey Burke was basically out of the rotation. The three-point shooting and dynamic pick and roll play that was supposed to translate to the NBA never translated. It was another rough NBA year for Trey Burke. In 57 games with the Wizards, he averaged a career low 5 points per game and 2 assists. A disappointing year and Trey's NBA future at this point was not looking too good. So what was next for Trey Burke after he just called out his former team and he did not perform up to expectations? Well, the Wizards decided not to bring him back, and in the summer of 2017, he was supposed to sign with the Oklahoma City Thunder, but he told his agent he wanted to go to the Knicks. Before the start of this current season, he signed with the Knicks, but was waived from the team after three days, and was signed to their G League team, the Westchester Knicks. In Trey's second game, he set the scoring record for the team, and he had a great time in the G League. In 26 games with Westchester, Burke averaged 27 points, 5 assists, and shot 48% from the field. He was looking like college Trey Burke, scoring in the paint, getting to the free throw line, and hitting threes. He was proving himself to the Knicks, and they liked where he was at, so they called him up on January 14th. Remember when I was talking earlier about how Trey was bothered by the Exum pick? Well, now he is a lot more mature and is prepared for any adversity he may face now. He said this about the Dante Exum pick in an interview about a month ago. Being 20 years old, it messed me up a little bit mentally, and I think 80% of the game is mental. When you're going out there with that on your conscience, you're not going to be the best version of yourself. 
And through 19 games so far, he's having the best season of his career since his rookie year and giving the Knicks much needed scoring off the bench. Last month, he became the first Knicks guard with more than 25 points and more than 5 assists in back-to-back -back games since Nate Robinson in 2009. Jeremy Lin came pretty close to doing that, but you get the point. It's been a while since somebody in the Knicks backcourt was able to put pressure on the defense with their scoring and passing. Trey has been saying in interviews that he just wants to redefine his NBA career and show people that he can play consistent minutes every night. He wants to be someone you can rely on in an NBA rotation. This is a more focused and prepared Trey Burke. Trey Burke in his rookie year was caught up in distractions and off the court stuff that hurt his play. Trey said this in an interview, I'm living better, now being married, not being out partying and being more focused and more locked in on my assignment each and every day, which right now is a 25 year old man in basketball. My faith has helped me perform at a better level. It's only been about 20 games, so I don't want to make any huge predictions, but I think he secured a 6th or 7th man role on the Knicks for the next year. He still has to continue to prove himself, but reading quotes about his new focus makes me believe he'll continue to get better. The Knicks have Trey Burke on contract for one more year, so he'll be back running their bench unit. And yeah, that's it for me and how Trey Burke was able to revive his NBA career with the Knicks. Thank you guys for always coming through to watch, like, and comment on the videos. It's cool to see people enjoy the content. So let me know your thoughts on Trey Burke, and I'll see you guys in my next video.